are back again towards our topic. So in today, I'm going to be sharing my knowledge to you on image formation by play mirror. According to my research, I noticed most of questions under optics are found from image formation and the uses of mirrors. And also, little question is found on calculation. So that's what I'm here to what, explain and what, let me say, I'm here to explain the differences that is found between all kinds of mirror. But today I'll be starting with a play mirror. All together. So if you are new to my channel, don't forget to click on that subscribe button to subscribe to my channel. And also, drop a comment for me in the comment box section below. Thank you so much. Now, I have one called Image Formation by Play Mirror. First of all, let me try to explain to you what a play mirror is. A play mirror is a what? Is a reflecting is a, is, a, is a mirror that has a larger radius of curvature. That means it has a kind of a surface like this. It has one coated surface, and the other surface is a reflecting surface. What do you mean by a reflecting surface? This coated surface indicates that no light ray will pass through this. And this reflective surface shows that what all reflection will take place on this surface. Now, I will give you just only two questions. I will drop in two questions on this, which I notice that what it is repeated in jump. And I'm sure that what there are most questions that are found under reflection or under what image formation by play mirror. Now, let's start. Now, in a play mirror, I have the angle that is coming directly from the source. Is known as the angle of incidence. The angle that is leaving the plate surface is known as the angle of reflection. Why this is the normal. Now, how does image form by play mirror? A play mirror has a constant image. It can only form, form five types of image. It forms five types of image. Yeah, you may be surprised. A play mirror can only form five types of image. Now, and these images are always constants, no matter how they change it, they are what? The same. Please take note of it. The first type of image that the play mirror can form, a play mirror will form a virtual image, virtual. Now, let me try to explain this. What is by a virtual image? There are two different types of image. We have a virtual image and we have a real image. A real image is an image that can be formed on a screen. For instance, a retina is a screen for the eyes all together. So the lens that is found in the eyes try to what convert all rays of light and form them on the retina. If the rays of light is formed on the retina directly, then we can easily see all together. Now, in some people with defects, there are some human beings with defects. Some of them are suffering from what short sightedness, while some are suffering suffering from long sightedness. As for those of them that are suffering from what long-sightedness it shows that the image of the object is always formed at the back of the retina the image of their own objects the for example now those that have long-sightedness their own image is being formed at the back of the retina all together so the retina which is the screen is not receiving any image that's why they can't see something that is far but if something is nearer to them they can easily see it the same thing applies to those that are suffering from myopia myopia simply means short-sightedness so those of them that are suffering from myopia, they have a problem of their own image is always converged at the front of the retina. The image is formed at the front of the retina. So due to the formation of the image at the front of the retina, they are unable to see anything that is very what, uh, that is closer to them. They can only see something that are far away from them. So if the object is very close to them, they are unable to see it. I want to get out like that. Now that is happening. The same thing applies to you. So a virtual image is, a, is an image that cannot be formed on the screen. It will not be formed, it will not form at all on the screen, if you have any screen. So if it is not formed, simply means there is no image. Altogether, why a real image is an image that will be formed directly on the screen. Altogether. Now, so any plain mirror that we have must form, number one, a virtual image. That is number one. Number two, the image that is going to form will be upright image, upright. Yeah, but we can call it what? A red. And I want to give you one secret. Any mirror that forms a virtual image, the nature of that image must be upright or erect. Virtual image has a characteristic that it is always upright. Why real image has a characteristic that is always inverted, which is downward. 
So any mirror that forms real image, that image must be what? Inverted. But if a mirror forms virtual image, that image must be what? Erect. All together, that is number one, number two. Number three, the image that is formed by a play mirror is laterally, laterally inverted. When it said laterally inverted, it simply means a sideways image. A play mirror is going to change an object by making the front of an object to be the back. And making the right side of an object to be the left side of the object. That's what we call lateral inversion. Lateral, sideways, sideways inversion. So, it is always a characteristic of what a play mirror. A play mirror for a virtual image, please take note, an upright image, a laterally inverted image, no matter how you place it. Number four, it can form image of the same size. Image of same size as the objects. Same size as the object. Simply means the image height and the object height must be equal. The image height and the object height must be what? Equal. That is one of the characteristics of image form. Then the fifth one is that all plane mirror form image of the same distance. Image of the same distance as the object. As the objects. That means the distance of the image, if the image, if this is the mirror, if the image object, if the object is here, then the image will be here. The distance from here to here, look up, the distance between the objects and the mirror is what we call object distance u. The distance between the image, the image and the mirror is what we call image distance v. All together. Now, so please take note. So this u must be equal to v for all play mirror. The image of the words object object image sorry object distance must be equal to image distance also if the this if the image if the object is like this then the image that will form will also be what the same size as the object the same height as the object that is one character so these five characteristics are the major characteristic of image that is formed by a plane mirror please take note a plane mirror can never form a magnified image Magnified in the sense that the image will be what? Large. Are you getting it? When I said something is magnified, magnified simply means if the object is 20 centimeter, then the image will be like 40 centimeter. Magnified image. Now let me not give you the reason why the plane mirror does not form a magnified image. We got this one said magnification. Linear magnification is talking about the ratio of the object distance to the object image. I'm sorry. The ratio of the object of image distance to the object distance. That's what we call magnification. Linear magnification. So, as I said, please quote me. If there is anything wrong, I said all plane mirror does not form a magnified image. And the reason is because if you take a look at linear magnification, M is always equal to V over U. This is the formula for linear magnification. And also we can also say linear magnification equals to image height over object height. And since from this characteristic we said the image distance v is equal to the object distance u, that means m can be equal to v over v. See that they are the same. Then my m be equal to what? 1. Or it is u over u. So equal to what? 1. That means a plane mirror has a magnification of 1. That is why a plane mirror can never be what? Magnified. It can be upright but not magnified. I will together be like that. And it is not diminished. It is never diminished. Diminished simply means the image is smaller than the objects. That's what we call diminished. Once they magnified, simply means the image is larger than the objects. That is magnified. All together. So none of this is a characteristic of the image that is formed by a plane mirror. Take note of that. Now let me take a look at what the question I fish out for you. Under this, please take note that what most of the questions are set in the same way. If you want to set the question for you, the only scatter your brain and the reason why I make mention of that magnify, I saw a question where right, they put in the option magnified. All right, together. Now let's take a look at the question of question one. Let's start with it. They said, which of the following statements is not correct about an image formed by a play mirror? All right, together. The image is A, virtual, B, upright, C, laterally inverted. D magnified. 
Now, the image, we have virtual there, which is correct. All play mirror is what? Virtual. It is upright. It is laterally inverted, but they are not magnified. Now, majorly if you check your textbook, most of the textbooks that we have, they never, they don't always put this upright image there. They only put that what? It has four characteristics. Characteristics of image from its four. All together, they mix with what? Virtual, lateral, image of the same sign, and what? Image of the same distance. But the important thing that many of the image, most of the image are always upright. Or we can, if they don't want to use the word upright, we use the word erect. Another name for it, we call it what? Erect image. So in case they change it for you, Jam can change it for you. I you that? I'm not telling you that what? The question I'm giving you is 100% that this is what you are going to see. All together. But I'm trying to bring likely questions. So when you see questions like that, you can easily answer them. All together. So they can change upright to what? Erect. They are talking about the same thing. All together, I'm like that. Now, question two. Let's take a look at question two that they gave to us. I think this question two is kind of convincing for many students. Look at it said, an object 8 cm in front of a play mirror. Let me try to draw it out. I have a play mirror like this. Please take a look at this calculation. I have a play mirror. This is the axis of the play mirror. An object is now placed 8 cm in front of the play mirror. This is the object position. Oh, we can represent object with O. Now, the distance of the object, then they say an object is placed. 8 cm in front of a play mirror. What are they trying to tell you? If I'm, this, you know, this object here is placed U cm in front of the play mirror. So if they say an object is placed 8 cm in front of a play mirror, what are they referring to? They are referring to object distance. That is the distance between the object and the mirror. So 8 cm from a play mirror from year to year is what? 8 cm from a play mirror. I hope together. That is number one. Then I said, so yes, centimeter in front of the play mirror. Now let's say moves at a speed of six centimeter per second. That object now move at a speed. Speed at which the object is going to move is six centimeter per second. That means it's moved backward, or is it backward or forward? You don't know. Now let's say the object moves at a speed of what six centimeter away from the mirror. Away simply means the object is going backward like this. Now let me give you one thing. If an object is moving away from the mirror. The image also is moving away from the mirror. Take note of that. If an object is going like this, the image also be what? Going like this. The same thing. Because, and now, and again, if an object is moving closer to the mirror, the image also be moving closer to the mirror. That is what the by that's what we call what laterally inverted image. Now, so it's moved at a, uh, at a velocity of 6 cm per second. Now, why did I ask us? They said, hmm, what will be the distance separating the objects? And the image after two seconds. The distance if here is the position of the image V. What is the distance between the objects and the image after two seconds? First of all, when this object moves away from the mirror with six centimeters per second squared in two seconds, two times. The time is what? Two seconds. First of all, we're going to calculate the distance the object covered within this speed and this time. That's how we know how long it has moved. So the distance is covered from here. You know, don't forget that it started from here. It started its journey back from here. This way it's going before it started moving. So the distance is covered from distance. Speed is equal to, you know, speed is equal to distance over time taken. So the distance covered can be equal to what? The speed of the object, which is 6, multiplied by the time taken is what? 2. Please, you don't need to convert this to centimeter, to meter. Why? Because what they give us here is in meter, centimeter. So I have what this as what two times that is 12 centimeter. So the distance covered that means the objects move a distance of what 12 centimeter. Now the question that we'll not be asking is that if the object move a distance of 12 centimeter, 12 centimeter, that shows that the new position of the object is no more in this place, it is now here. And according to the rule that we gave. Now, if the new position of the object is here, then the distance from here to here is the object's distance, u. That's the object. So my new object distance is equal to what? 20 centimeter. Now, if my new object distance is 20 centimeter, then what will be my image distance? My image distance will also be equal to 20 centimeter. And the reason for that is because for every plane mirror, the object distance is equal to the image distance. 
So if the object moves to 20 cm, that is 12 plus 8, 20, then this will also be what? 20 cm. If the object reduces, the image will also be reduced. But what is the question that they are asking? They said, what would be the distance separating the object and the image after two seconds? What is the distance between the object and the image? This is the image. This is the object. What is the distance between the object? Separating the distance between the object and the image. That's what they are asking us. And the separating distance will be equal to what? U plus V. U is from here to here and V is from here to here. So which is equal to 20 plus 20, which is equal to 40 centimeter. So the distance that is separating the object away from the image is equal to what? 20 centimeter. If there is anything that you don't really understand about this, drop a comment for me. Just if you have any question that is confusing you, that you've seen the past question, drop it for me. I'm going to cross check it and solve the question for you. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to click on the subscribe button and then like the video. Share the video with your friends so that they can also watch, enjoy and pass their exam. Thank you so much.